Hey, welcome back to Landing Page Teardowns. Justin Jackson here, and today I'm looking at ConveyStrategy.com. This is a site for employers who have less than 100 uh, employees, and specifically in the knowledge worker sector. All right, so uh, let's start with the headline. Again, what do we need to know? Who is this for? What is their primary struggle? And what is their dream of a better life? All right. Uh, down here, I noticed this um, this thing here. I think this actually is a, a more powerful headline. Uh, something like, make your employees feel better. <laughs> or make your employees, your employees feel happy. Something like that. Uh, maybe make is the wrong word there. Something like get happier employees. Something that really communicates the main benefit, which is, I'm assuming, a more engaged employees, happier employees. You want it short and punchy and immediately tells you, this is the dream of a better life. What do I want? I want happier employees. Who am I? I'm an employer. All right. What's my primary struggle, right? So you could say, is your team struggling with low morale? Again, digging into the pain and then maybe give them a little idea of the future. Um, maybe we could say empower them or empower them with a shared sense of purpose. Something that gets to what you're providing for them and a dream of a better life, all right? So again, we've got the dream of a better life. We've got who this is for, employers. We've got their uh, really digging into the struggle, you know, struggling with low morale. And then we have, okay, here's how we're going to help you. And again, hinting at that dream of a better life. Uh, this button here, what happens when I click on this? Let's see. This takes me to a sign-up form. I, convey your strategy is a is a odd uh, call to action for me. Maybe you've tested this. I don't know, but I would start with something super actionable like start now or get started. The other thing I would say here is that this there's not a lot of contrast between this and the the background image there. Um, maybe you can make that image a little bit lighter, uh, but you definitely need more contrast between this uh, subtitle and the background. And it looks similar when you are in kind of mobile view. All right, so let's keep going. I like this. Employees who say they feel engaged with their work, 34%. Employees who say they know their company's strategy. This is great. A um, little bit of even social proof there, right? We've got some real stats. Convey is a strategy engagement tool for happy teams. That's awesome. Uh, it tells me who you are, what you're going to do for me. Uh, what happens when I click see how it works? Um, so when I click see how it works, I want to see how it works right away. I want to see a screenshot. I want to see a video. Um, I don't want more text. I need a really quick image that shows me right away. This is what this is about. Uh, so this, all, all this stuff here is like a bit too much. Um, you've got a, you've got this image here. I mean, maybe if you put this at the top. So when they land on this page, they should see something like this. I'm assuming this is a, a screenshot from your, your app. I want to see right away, what is this? And this screenshot actually communicates that. I can see, oh, okay, how are we feeling about this? I'm guessing this is some sort of employee survey. Immediately, in two seconds, gives me an idea of what this is. All right? So um, see how this works. Also, I would that's a great uh, call to action, but I need that to be bigger. I need to see a bigger button there. So use some sort of button style for this uh, call to action right here. See how it works. Make it really pop out. Uh, this is great. You have another call to action right underneath there. That's the number one mistake people make is they don't have a bunch of ways for people to get started, right? So you've got one up here, get started, start now, you know, see how it works. That's good. But then start a free trial. Let's get people in there right away. And there you got that. See how it works again. Great call to action, but let's get that screenshot right front and center. Put your strategy on autopilot. Um, uh, again, this doesn't immediately communicate the value and the benefit I get 
I, I get from this, right? So what is this going to give me? How does this make me more awesome? Uh, it could be like um, uh, less cumbersome meetings, you know, like really spell it out. What do I get from this? How does this make me better? How does this make me more awesome? What superpowers does this give me? All right. So really emphasize this. This to me, the other one feels a little bit too general. Put your strategy on autopilot. Um, I would try some other, uh, so something else here, right? Um, and remember, as you can see, I'm just reading the headlines here. That's how people are going to read these. You really want to nail the headlines. That's what people are actually reading. Simple strategy capture. Um, Automatically weekly check-ins, that kind of resonates with me. Strategy conversion engine, I don't know what that means. So maybe have something a little bit more clear here. Uh, really make it like a no-brainer, like automatic weekly check-ins, I get it, awesome. And this is great, you've got another call to action at the bottom. And then what do we do, why do we do it? This needs more context, like uh, some sort of headline. So have a headline like this to clarify what you're talking about here. We help you answer these questions. What do we do? Why do we do it? How will we succeed? What is our top priority? Or we help your team answer these questions, something like that. And then again, great. You've got a, uh, you know, a get started button right here. Um, let's just go over and put, uh, I don't know, team. Let's just go over to Google and put team low morale. Okay, so what do we see here? How to deal with team morale in the workplace, the root causes of employee, low pl employee morale. And we've got these, th these questions that Google has scraped here. These are always significant as well, right? And then we've got these long tail keywords here at the bottom. Um, these are things that people are searching for. And because this is, this might be, because your solution might be outside of what people are used to or expecting, instead of start now, you might need to have a, a, a softer sell. For example, instead of having them start right away with a trial, which requires a lot of commitment, maybe you want to start with a five-part email course. Learn five ways to boost employee morale. Now you've got a starting point. Now you've got a place for people to easily opt in and now you're going to have five emails where you can uh, earn their trust. And a five email sequence can look like this. Uh, this is one in ConvertKit that they just give you out of the, the box. So introduction, you know, welcome. And I would always ask questions here. So uh, thanks for signing up. And then ask a few questions, a few questions. How big is your team? Define your, your team's struggle with morale. What have you tried that's worked? What have you tried that hasn't worked, right? They sign up, they get this email right away. The next day you send them an educational message, right? Uh, tip number one. The next thing is tip number two and then you introduce your product. The next day might be a, a soft sell, like okay, hey, maybe you should try out uh, convey strategy now. Right, so hey, try it out. Next day, tip number three. Um, next day, a harder sell, like you should really try uh, convey strategies out. And then uh, tip number four, and then uh, another soft sell. And again, the beauty of this is that people will be interacting with you. They'll be replying to these emails and you'll be able to get a better sense of who the customer for convey strategy is what they need, what they're struggling with, and how you can help them. In terms of getting more traffic, these are the top blog posts in Google search, and you could probably learn something from just looking at them, uh, specifically where they're being shared. Look at this, LinkedIn, 761 shares, Facebook, 98 shares, and Google Plus, 48, uh, Google Plus 14 shares. So, so LinkedIn is the place to try to get some traction on this. Uh, here's a little, it, this is hidden in LinkedIn, but if you go uh, low employee morale and you search that, it always defaults to people first, but if you go down to posts and then click search, 
now you're going to see all of the trending posts on that topic in LinkedIn. This is the kind of network you want to use to amplify any content you write on the Convey Strategy blog. All right. I hope this teardown has been helpful for everyone else. Make sure you give this video a like if it was helpful for you. Uh, be sure to go and check out Convey Strategy. Thank them for being willing to do this public teardown. And I'll be back soon with another video.